My name is Kinji Kagia. I only have a few friends, and I'm a first grade high school student. My hobby is to write novels. In the near future, I'm thinking of becoming a professional in that. <sighs> but I have no talent. I think I should just give up. Kikun, let's play together. Ah. Uh, she is Yukino Harukaze. Her house is just beside my house. She's small, beautiful, and cute. I'm proud of being her childhood friend. She's doing house chores for me since my parents rarely come back home. She always hugs me whenever she meets me. You're writing a novel again? Do you want me to read it for you? I love to read novels anyway. Uh, you don't have to do that. I understand that I have no talent for that. I was thinking to just give up. I don't think so. I love your stories, Kikun. I believe that you'll make your dreams come true. You think so? Thank you for cheering me up. Huh? Why are you dressing like that? It was cold, so I took a shower and I borrowed your shirt. Jeez. Don't you feel cold, Kikun? Your hands are cold. Oh, I got it. Do you want me to warm you? What? When it's cold, we should warm each other. So that's what you were trying to say. We casually tell jokes to each other. This is our relationship. Our school is conducting outside lecture every year. I want all of you to create a group, so please create a group that consists of six persons. Cultivate a sense of solidarity through outdoor lecture. I don't think this has something to do with a solitary person like me. Kikun, let's be in the same group. Ah, I told you, don't hug me at school. Anyway, I want to be in the same group with you. I want to cook curry rice, just for you, since you have a big appetite. Kinji, I really envy you. Uh, I think you should do that to other people. You've been doing those things to me anyway. I don't want to do that. I want you to eat what I cook for you. You don't want me to do that? Uh, if you glance at me from below like that, there's no way I can refuse your offer. In the end, I couldn't refuse her offer. Me and Yukino are in the same group. Then, the day of outdoor lecture comes. Yukino-chan is cute, isn't she? She's innocent and a good cook. What a perfect girl. I want her to be my wife. But, I wonder why she's always with Kinji. He's just a solitary nerd and has no other talent. He's not capable at sports and study. He has no talent at all. Ah, those words were as sharp as a knife that stabs my heart. Although everyone is saying bad things about you, seems that you can't fight back. Akucho, you. His name is Akucho Ikateru. He's the most good looking guy in our school. In addition, he is kind. That's why he's popular among girls. But, since he likes to mock other male students, most of male students hate him. Well, you're unattractive and you have no talent. Everybody knows about that. That's why ordinary people sucks. Well, you're also one of the ordinary people anyway. You know what? I saw your mother working part-time job at a supermarket last time. By the way, are you preparing your curry properly? If you don't mind, I'm willing to give you some advices. Hey, wait! Yuck! What an ordinary curry. That's why I hate ordinary people who are only capable to make ordinary curry. Yukino made this anyway. Oh, this is so tasty! I think the taste of this curry will change the world! You changed your mind so rapidly! Well, since you're just an ordinary person, you should just shut up, Kinji. Look, I made a special tropical curry. Seems like the curry is sparkling. I wonder what he put inside that. This is what suits me the most. Cool and elegant curry. Yukino-chan, why don't you eat this curry? I made this for you with all my heart. What's this? I don't think this kind of thing is allowed to exist in this world. Well... I think you should say it more politely. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Never mind. 
By the way, your curry is ready. Please eat it. Oh! What do you think? Is it tasty? Y yes as always. I mean, it's much more tasty than the usual ones. Really? Yippee! No way! You cooked curry for that Kinji instead of me? Kinji... I won't admit that! I'm the most suitable person for you, Kino-chan! <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with him. After that, Akuto persistently approached Yukino in front of me. But Yukino is not interested in him at all. In the end, she just totally ignored him. Despite that, she was by my side the whole day. I could sense that Akuto is glaring at me. Jeez, today is an exhausting day. Since I've just taken a bath, I should go to sleep early. Kikun, I found you. Let's play together from now on. Yikes, y Yukino. Don't hug me like that here. Somehow, I can feel something soft. Huh? Are you wearing yukata? Um, I found this in my room. I was told that I'm free to wear it, so I tried to put it on. What do you think? Oh, well, I wonder where I should put my eyes on. Uh, anyway, put something in front of you. I don't want you to show up in front of other people dressing like that. But it's only you and me here. I won't be embarrassed if it's you. Are you telling me that you don't see me as a male? That's not what I mean. Kikun is a male. So, why are you always hugging me? If you really see me as a male, I don't think you'll do that. You got me wrong. It's just, I feel relaxed when I'm with you. I hug you because I love the smell of you. That's why I love to hug you. Um, but if you keep doing that, you won't be able to get a boyfriend. There are a lot of guys out there who are better than me, so you shouldn't hug me like you usually do. I'm not gonna make a boyfriend then. What? If I can't be close to you, I don't need any boyfriend at all. You are more precious than that. I wonder if she is thinking about me as... Anyway... We'll have free time after this, so let's play together. Come to my room. Wait. Huh? If you really want to play, I should teach you how adults play then. What? Kikun? Your eyes look scary. What's wrong with you? I don't want anyone else to take you away from me, Yukino. There are a lot of guys who are chasing you. A lot of them. They are more capable than me. More good looking and kind than me countless of them but i just want you to be by my side so uh you can know your face is turning red huh do you have a fever what K kikun is this close to me oh you can know hey you can know pull yourself together you can know just collapsed right after that then i took her to her room the day after that, she began to take a distance from me. She just turned away from me when I talked to her. She didn't look me in the eyes. I think she hates me. I was thinking that I should take a distance from her. Therefore, I did it. I think it was because what I did to her last time and she hasn't forgiven me. <sighs> I need to apologize to her. I should apologize and stay away from you, Yukino. I think that's the best solution for her. But I just couldn't talk to her. Then the night arrives. We decided to have a test for our courage and Yukino participated. I wasn't intended to participate, but I also participated. My purpose is to be alone with her. But it's too dark and I can't see anything. I was thinking that this is the chance for me to be alone with Yukino, but it seems difficult. Y yikes n n No, I'm not scared. I was just su su surprised I think I saw someone there. It's outside the walking course anyway. I wonder who is that? Th that's Akuto and Yukino! What are they doing there? By the way, I want to hear your answer. I've told you many times that I don't want to be in a relationship with you. What's so good about that guy? That Kinji is just a solitary nerd. 
he's not good looking nor talented. Moreover, no matter what you did for him, he just can't be honest to his own feelings. He's such a coward. I think you must be lonely that he's not answering your feeling. Hakuto is right. I just couldn't tell Yukino about my own feelings. I just treated her unwell because I have no self-confidence and was thinking to give up. I don't think I'm a suitable person for her, but... Don't you dare to look down on Kikun. For me, Kikun is an awesome guy. What makes you say that? I know the reason why. Kikun wants to be a professional novel writer. The reason? That's because I love to read books. Therefore, he's writing stories for me. So, don't expect me to choose you. If I chose other person, that means I'm betraying Kikun. That's why I won't choose you. Yeah, the reason why I started to write novel is because I wanted to make Yukino happy. Then, I was thinking that someday, I want to become a professional and a suitable partner for her. But, it seems that I've forgotten about that. You should think twice. I'll make you happy at all costs. I'm sorry. This can't be true. Please, I beg you to give me a chance just once. Cut it off, Akuto. Kinji. Yukino, let's go. Wait, Yukino-chan. I beg you, please give me a chance. Don't you dare to chase us. Gosh, at least we've got away from him. I don't think there's a necessity for us to hide. Well, he was out of control anyway. Let's go back then. I think everyone is worried about us. Yeah, I need to apologize then. I must say my true feeling. Wh what? I can't open the door. What? But by any chance, are we locked inside? Yukino, I'm sorry about yesterday. N never mind. I was just surprised. I need to apologize to you two. I was avoiding you all the time today. No, it's my fault. But I need to tell you something. I'm in love with you. Huh? I was thinking that I'm not a suitable person for you. You are popular among people. Different from me, who is a solitary nerd. I don't think so. You were a kind person who's willing to stay beside me. I don't care about suitable or not. Oh, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to stay the same. So, I'm going to change. I'll do my best to make the people around us admit that I'm a suitable person for you. So, I want to be in a relationship with you. Y yeah me too! Yukino! Oh! Uh, it, it's cold, isn't it? Y yeah I hope someone comes to save us quickly. But, if we stay like this, it won't be cold anymore. Huh? Let's stay like this until someone comes to pick us up. But, but... We're lovers anyway, don't be shy. W well she has a point, but... Let's stay together from now on. Y yeah Are you two all right? Akuto? The two of you suddenly disappeared, so I was worried. W well that's... Uh... It seems that the two of you have something going on between. I think I need to leave. Next time, you should be careful when you enter a hut in a mountain. Kikun, the meal is ready. Ugh! You shouldn't hug me all of a sudden. That's because it's cold. Huh? Are you writing a novel again? Yes. I was thinking to give up because I wasn't capable of it. But I decided to give it a try again for you. I see. You're doing a great job working on it every day. Anyway, I have a present for you. Present? I knitted you a scarf. I'll be happy if you wear it. Thanks. What do you think? It's warm. The cold season is coming, so I'll wear this. Uh... Um, why do you look upset? I don't think scarf is a good idea. What? Why? If you have a scarf with you, you won't be willing to warm me. So, I'll become your scarf. Are you jealous of your scarf? But I'm warmer, right? Well, yes. 
Honestly, it's too hot that I'm about to collapse. Anyway, Kikun, I'll be by your side from now on. So, let's make your dream come true together. Once dream never ends. So please register this channel if you haven't. <laughs>